Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you. And today I'm actually going to discuss Equipoise versus Decadurabolin. But before we get into that, just a big shout out and thank you to everybody out there watching and supporting the channel. I cannot thank you enough. If you haven't yet, please like, sub, share, comment, anything that you can do interacting with the channel. It's going to help us to grow. It's going to allow me to produce more and more content for you each and every day. Now, today's video is sponsored by our favorite sponsor, letsgetcheck.com. If you're not familiar, letsgetcheck.com specializes in at-home blood testing. They are the best of the best in the industry, and I totally stand by that. That's easy for me to do. Um, so all you have to do, go to the website. If you go to the description below, click on my link. It's going to take you to letsgetcheck.com. Use coupon code Jamelli30. It's going to save you 25% off your entire order. Go pick out whatever tests you like and order them up. They have so many varieties of tests for men and women. They have full hormonal panels, general wellness panels, sexual health, COVID testing. They have it all. Order what you want. They're going to ship it to you really quickly. Once you get it, provide your sample, ship it right back. The results come extremely fast. You're going to have doctors and nurses there 24-7 to answer your questions. It's cost-effective. It's discreet. It's seamless. It's easy. Let's get checked.com. Coupon code Jamelli30. It's going to save you 25% off. So all the time I get people that ask me, to either if they should stack DECA and Equipoise, what the differences are, which one's better. Subjective question, I guess. I'm going to give you reasons for both, and I'm going to give you um, everything that I can think of. And you make your own decision on this because I can fight for both of them in a variety of ways. But I'm going to give you the full breakdown on both. So I generally don't find it necessary to stack the two. They do a lot of things similar. In fact, Equipoise is kind of... Equipoise is always thought of as like an injectable D-ball almost, although obviously it's not because the estrogen conversion is not there. It doesn't get you as big, but that's what it's kind of thought of or compared to. Um, I find Equipoise and Deca to be quite similar, but also quite different. I'm going to tell you why. Let's, let's address side effects first, because they both have them. Now, Deca is an androlone from the 19-NOR family and we know and if you don't deca can have a multitude of problems a lot of people will get that dreaded deca dick and that will just crush your libido a lot of people will find that they hold water retention have a lot of side effects some people have night sweats with deca uh, some people will say they have weird dreams or sleep issues with deca some people will say they've gained hunger some people will say they've completely lost their appetite there's a lot of different aspects of it prolactin and, and progesterone problems that people incur. There's a lot of problems that are potentially there. So with DECA, especially, I always tell people, you gotta run it lower. And then there's this argument and this debate and this concept of the testosterone and DECA ratio, whether you can use DECA without testosterone. And the list goes on and on and on. And I've talked about this, and I'm not gonna get into all that in this video, because I've talked about it several times, and that would just water this video down. But for the sake of this video, I'm bringing up all the aspects and the problems of each right now. So there's a slew of problems there. A lot of people will say they have a much difficult time recovering on DECA. Now, DECA has an extremely long half-life, but so does Equipoise. So they're very similar in that regard. Both of them should be ran at least 12 weeks. There's always that argument about running them a good 14 weeks because of the longer ester attached. What I found over time is I was one of those that always proposed that, but I have actually come to the conclusion that it's not like you're getting that much more by extending it those couple weeks but you're making recovery a lot harder so i don't find it a necessary uh, necessary thing to do but you most certainly can and that argument is still there and yes you could go back and say that years ago that i was a certain way but hopefully most people as they get older get a little bit more information or change their mind on things that they may have been mis understanding misinterpreting or just have a different belief in it and i can always i have no issue going back and saying anything i ever made a mistake on or changed my mind on i'm not a flip-flopper i'm a guy that just just like anybody else should be understands sciences understandings things change you change you learn more whatever the case may be and then you just give that information so um in terms of equipoise, some things to be aware of with that some people will say that it can increase your appetite um, especially the longer that you get into it. For some, that's ideal, and for some, it's not. Some people will say that it can increase anxiety. Um, 
especially if you're prone to it. Some people will say that, some people will not. But it's definitely something that's present there. Yes, it's also suppressive. Now, the difference, too, is DECA does convert to estrogen at a much like lighter level, but it still does. And equipoise is is strange because it's it some people will say and scientifically it may convert to estrogen but some people will also say that it in fact lowers their estrogen and helps to crush it if they run an aromatase inhibitor with it i've seen so many different studies and arguments both ways i know from firsthand and from most people i've coached they rarely have ever experienced any sort of of estrogen level rise with equipoise that was of note or any kind of water retention but i've also heard from people before that they have indeed had it but generally the most that i encounter is not having that issue where with deca a lot of people will report water retention gains and things like that where i know if deca is ran properly and things are controlled it can be very dry but more often than not people have this feedback and belief and it is possible that there's going to be water retention with DECA, where with equipoise, it's a lot less likely. Um, that's, you know, neither here nor there, I guess, because it depends on the person. Also, one thing with equipoise of high note is that it can increase your RBC count, which is going to, you know, cause a different array of problems. And you got to keep an eye on all of those different blood markers hematocrit, all of those things, and you need to be donating blood, which you should be doing anyway, but most certainly with equipoise, I would recommend six to eight weeks in, and some people don't want to do that, or it's a hassle, and I get it. Um, keep in mind, you are helping others while you do that too by donating blood, but that's whatever. You know, that's up to you. I'm not going to sit here and try to, to, to pull that one on everybody. I believe it's a good thing, but hey, if you don't, you don't, and I'm not Mr. Shove it down your throat guy. I leave it to you. I'm just telling you. Um, but you know, those are things on both. They're both suppressive steroids, like I said. Um, but if you're factoring it down, both have a decent amount of side effects. DECA clearly has more. Um, but let's look at the benefits now. Equipoise is good for endurance, probably the best anabolic steroid for endurance help. It's very nice for strength and lean muscle gain. And you can definitely get size with equipoise. With DECA, you're going to get a lot of strength, more strength than that of equipoise. Um, you don't have to run nearly as much on the dosage of DECA where equipoise needs to be run a little bit higher. Um, and with DECA, you're, you're going to get more size than you are with equipoise. And so for people that are wanting even more size or even more strength, I, look, you can bulk with equipoise, but it's, it's way better suited for a recomposition where DECA, you can definitely use it and stay dry and recomp with it, but it's much more suitable for bulking. So there's your kind of differences on that. Um, both are going to suppress you. Both are going to require post-cycle therapy, all of those things. So it's kind of like weigh it down. What is your goal is at? What kind of side effects do you want to deal with? Are you prone to certain things that you may not be prone with? Are you prone to anxiety? Are you prone to estrogen or prolactin issues? Like, Are these problems things that you need to be aware of? Uh, can you not afford to have something, say, possibly interfere with your sleep? Or, you know, are you more willing to have the possibility of having your libido affected with DECA where chances are a lot less with equipoise of that happening? Of course, it can happen with any steroid, but it's known that it can really be a problem with DECA. You know, those are things like me I'm not willing to do, especially now. Um, not even close. The, those are things I don't need. Uh, you know, there's plenty of other compounds for me where I don't have to go through with that. Some people, they love those compounds and they don't mind. And that's up to you. I'm just telling you, me personally, fuck that. No, not doing it. But some people don't care and I get it and that's fine. It's your life and it's your, you, whatever you got going on. But I want to make sure that you understand and know and kind of have my thoughts and opinions. I Look, I've used them both. I, I Every time I've used DECA, it's pretty much been in a very, very, very mild manner you know i used it on trt 150 megs a week for like 14 weeks with trt before uh the other time i used it when i went higher i hated it when i kept it low like that i thought it was one of the greatest things but i have different effects you know so and, and the other time that i used it that i hated it, i was also attempting to stack it with tread and that could have been a major issue i don't know but all i know is that anything that's ever hurt my libido i never go back to it again the, the minute it does it i fucking don't even want to deal with it and when that happened i never used it again so I don't, I can't tell you the exact reason. 
All I know is that it's in my head, and because it's in my head, and because I really don't care to use anything like that at this point in my life, that one's out. I don't love Equipoise by any stretch of the imagination either, but I've done pretty good with it. Um, so I don't really have... I just I, One of the things that turns me off about it is I feel like the endurance thing that you get out of it is so overplayed. And I think a lot of that is because I'm used to getting so much more with the GW501516 and SR9009 that it's a joke to me. But I can see it helping others. And so, but I, you know, there's just things I like better. But either way, some people love both of these. And that's great. I just wanted you to kind of see similarities and differences. And you make up your own mind from there, as I always tell you. So that being said, stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli, signing off.